Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. For the past few shuttle flights, we've taken you behind the scenes to meet the crews as they train for their flights and the people around the country who make those missions fly. But there's a lot of footage that we haven't shown you yet, so we'd like to take you back to some of our recent flights and introduce you to more of the people who do everything at NASA. We hope you enjoy this episode of NASA Behind the Scenes. The flight director job is a pretty cool job. I mean, a lot of people would love to grow up to be a flight director, right? So how did this happen for you, Brian? How did, uh, how did, did you want to do this when you were a little kid, or uh, what, what happened? I did not. You, yeah. So many times you hear the story of people saying, hey, I've, I've known I wanted to work for NASA ever since I could look up yeah. and, and see the stars. Yeah. When I was growing up, I looked up and I just saw the lights on the basketball court I was on, and that's as far as I saw. The lights are still on, we're still playing. That's what my childhood consisted of. Yeah. Was baseball and basketball. This was in Philadelphia? Yeah, I grew yeah. up in Philly. All right. And I never thought about coming to, to NASA. Yeah. It wasn't until I finished my undergraduate degree at Villanova, and I uh -huh. went into work. I worked for a defense contractor in Camden, New Jersey. Uh -huh. And the first couple of years, I worked on... Uh, naval projects, yeah. the Aegis class destroyers and some systems with that yeah. ship. And then they reassigned me to something called the Space Station Program. Hmm. And I said, oh, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll love to take that design job. What yeah. are we doing? And yeah. we had to redesign some some uh, comm equipment for the Space Station. This uh -huh. is when it went from Freedom to International Space Station. Mm -hmm. And the inclination of the orbit changed uh -huh. to accommodate the Russians. Yeah. And that inclination uh, had a higher radiation Mm -hmm. And so some boxes need to be redesigned. Mm -hmm. That's how I got into success. Right. Working at the very design level, the chip level, for some of the equipment that's on wow. right now. That's so I did cool. that for a couple of years, and then I started thinking, wouldn't it be pretty cool to work for NASA yeah. and operate? So I thought, oh, being an operator would be really yeah. cool, too. So I blindly turned my resume into the United Space Alliance. Mm -hmm. Got married, went on my honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Got back from a two-week trip and a uh -huh. phone call from the USA. Hey, uh -huh. we got your application. We'd like to talk to you. Of course, the message is about two weeks old now. <laughs> yeah. Look at, uh, geez, I lost That's my right. You don't, you want to seem too eager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So anyway, that led to the job as a flight controller. Yeah. And I worked that. I came down here in 1998 and I okay. worked as a flight controller for a few right. years and then started thinking. That was the first time I started thinking about flight directors. Right. A couple of years into my flight controller career. What, what position did you have as a flight controller? Communications and tracking officer okay. on the space station All right. side. So, so you worked, worked there. You were one of these folks sitting behind a console, worked your way up through there. Right. First right. the back room, I guess, right? Sure. And then to the front the room. room. And then, I got reunited with yeah. that hardware that I had, All right. had worked on as an engineer, which was right. pretty cool. I got to build it and fly it. Yeah. Uh, and then applied to be a flight director and got yeah. slept in the class of 2005. Okay. Same as uh, Mike Seraph. All right, the guy you'll be working with. That's pretty cool. Right. Yeah. And so. The path was, it wasn't something I had set my sights on as a kid. It was something yeah. that I methodically ended up going towards just at key decision points yeah. along my path, making interesting, yeah. going after interesting jobs and, and just making the right decisions and, and yeah. having having some luck. And, you know, a lot of it too is you have a lot to offer, but is it matching what the company needs at the time? Right. And that worked out for me. Yeah. So that's so cool because... It wasn't exactly like the, the, the goal you had when you first got out of college. You didn't have this as a goal, but you had uh, goals to you know, get a job, get in, work as an engineer and so on, and it led you to this really cool career because you kept taking the opportunities that were in front of you. Yeah, Pretty that's awesome. exactly how it happened. All right. Well, we've got some of your friends here waiting to sit down at your at the desk here and probably go to work. Is that right? That's right. Ginger and you, Really? You all guys all together? All right. Well, thanks very much. We'll get out of your way so you guys can go to work. Thanks very much, Brian, and uh, we look forward to watching SDS 129. This is a um, crew transport vehicle. Pretty much it support the shuttle when it lands, and um, we just go out and pick up the crew. It's right. like, it actually like a medical on wheels. It's a medical on wheels for the crew when they come back. Exactly. It's only used for landing, yeah. right? Exactly. All right, so you drive it from up here. Yeah, to the front. And here we've got all these, everyone's sitting in these chairs, but that's where the crew is going to go. That's now, where we, Okay, go. so what docks with the uh, with the orbiters? The descent? The platform. The platform. That platform, 
Yeah. You, so Space Shuttle's gonna land, right? Hi, you're gonna drive Hiawatha. What's your last name? Brown. Hiawatha. Well, and you, we had you earlier. We filmed you driving the exactly. the 131 Astro crew out there, the Astro. Yeah. Okay, so you, you drive all these things. Yes. Gary, yeah, he drives everything for you. Yeah. <laughs> you have a special chauffeur's license for this thing. What yeah, do you got? Much, yeah. Really? What kind of license do you have? Double O Seven. 007? Yeah. You're making that up. James Bond? Seriously? You have a license to kill? <laughs> yeah. Is he serious with that? He's got a double... <laughs> Come on, what kind of license do you got? Yes. It's called a 007? We call it 007. That's, You're making that up. No, it's, that's what we use for All the right. crew. Okay. Uh, everybody that drives the astronaut crew, yeah. 007. 007. 007. Yes. There's nothing to do with a license to kill them. No. It's just no. a license to drive just astronaut drive. vehicles. Pretty much. Okay, now yeah. you're over there. How'd you get on the other side of this thing? Okay, so you're, you, 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 you drive this here. This thing is gonna dock the little platform. Yeah, they're gonna dock with the chaff. All right. Which, which is already the what did you say? The chaff. What's that's, the chaff? That's the truck that docks with the orbiter. Okay, so another truck is gonna dock. To the Where is that truck? Can we see that later? Yeah, we'll see that later. All right, we're gonna see uh, that later. You drive that one too? No, we don't drive that one. You don't drive that one? No, we don't drive Who that drives that one? Uh, the guy with the, the double move 08? Crew. <laughs> yeah, the move crew guy. The move right crew? Yeah. Okay, so someone else, they do and then this thing docks with that vehicle. Yeah, this docks with that vehicle. <clears throat> okay. And why it docks with the orbiter, and we dock with that vehicle. All right. And everybody loads off and go on to uh, the orbiter and get the crew out. Okay. And they come back on this vehicle, and they get medical treatment if they need it. If right. they do fine, they just change into their jumpsuits and right. do a walk around, and, and that's it. Now this is very, you got all kinds of controls on it. What do you got all these fancy controls for? But this, you got your in and out for your platform. Yeah. Which goes out. Right. Oh, look at that, it's going out. And then you got your left and right. Right. It'll turn right, you got the dock oh. to the right. Okay. The dock to the left. All right. Yeah. And then you got your platform that jacks your pod up and down. Okay. And that's, that's Drugs, what, what, what goes up and down? Pod. What pod? This pod that you in. This whole thing? Yes, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing goes up? Can you can you do that or are you gonna scare people? No. So it's like uh, one of them low rider things like they have in California? Yeah. You ever see like, that? I'm from New York. We yeah, didn't have those things. Yeah. We did, we took the subway. Yeah. But in California they've got these things that go up and down. Yeah, that's what this does. This goes that's up. That's what goes down. on? Yeah. Alright. But a lot of these buttons are just for lights and light switches. Okay. Um, you got a radio on this? Yeah, you got a radio. You do really? Yeah, I got a radio. Play hit. tunes? Yeah. Really? Can you? Over there on that side over there. It's All right. Radio. Okay. Uh, you got your command sent over here with your radios for your um, security and, and. Oh, I see. No, I meant like a radio for music and stuff. So oh, you yeah. can like, you know, jam to the tunes while yeah, you. Yeah, got one over you got there. One. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. All right. You got windshield wipers? You got windshield wipers. Yeah, you got windshield wipers for the doors right. and for the side. How about windows? a cigarette lighter? No cigarette lighter. No cigarette. So no you smoking. can't. No smoking in here? No smoking. Okay. No All right. This is a non smoker ride. All right. It does, this is uh, so, so you drive all these you drive you drive the Astro van with the crew in it yes. to bring them out to the launch pad. You drive this thing, and you have a family, Hiawatha. You yes, have I do. how many kids you got? You got, I got four kids. You got four kids. Yeah. You go on family vacations with them. Sometimes. You drive them around. <laughs> yeah. They give you right. trouble. No, no. You no. should no. Come uh, on. My kids when like you're driving, oh, what? My kids are grown except for one. Okay, when they were little, you used to go like on yeah. these family vacations, yeah, go vacation. drive them around in a van or something, yeah, a station a wagon. What'd you yeah. have? We had a car. You had a, a just car. You just jump. Yeah. They give you trouble and like, hey, come on! I've been driving no, fancy vehicles no. with astronauts in them. Don't give me any trouble. No, they never don't get dad no trouble. <laughs> no. All right. Because I would leave them on the side of the road. You would? <laughs> no. You have a lesson astronaut on the side of the road? No. no. Let me tell you something. A couple of these guys that are coming off the space shuttle you may want to leave them in there. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I'd be careful. You know, they, they, nah, you'll, I, I think you need to get them right. They got to have a ticket to get on here, though. Do they? They don't have a pass to get on, they can't yeah, get on. And they have to be dressed appropriately. Exactly. Space suits only. Exactly. This here is where we are. Uh, Hello. For all Hi. our missions that we support. Oh, okay. All the missions that we support, we put a right. patch on the wall. The captain comes off the ship, and the commander officer, right. off, and he put his patch on the wall. Did you? Well, you need to come get, get uh, my last flight here. What happened? We missed. We missed you. What yeah. did we do? We had a walk. I don't even remember. You didn't pick us up. We're oh, right. We, we should be right in here. We landed in California. We, we, landed, in California. we landed in California. Yeah. California. Yeah. See, we don't do California. Oh, yeah. I, this is my first flight. Though. You yeah. Yeah. got me there. You don't drive this out to California. No, the California. I guess we should California, say we're in California. Florida. Yeah, California got the deal. So our patch is out in California. I guess if they do it like we do it, I don't know. I'll take one. So, this is this. Uh, All right. Yeah,
Okay, so these are all the patch. So the commander comes off and he puts a patch up. Yeah, there. He put the patch on all right. and for Landy out the lands. Okay, you know that's the first thing you do. All right, and then they, the crew come off and they get over here and right. take a chair. All right, but seats are being worn by uh, yeah, Shane and Randy. Yeah, see they they come in and get comfortable and, and get medical treatment if they need it and change it to the flight suits or whatever you right, want to call they're it. Right, because they're going to come off in the big orange uh, yeah, space, suits, space and, suits and, so and they're going to get them changed over here. Got your text. Got your text. I'll tell you, suit text. Yeah, that'll support the Hello, guys. boys. Everything all right? Yes, sir. You weren't sleeping, were you just no, now? No, no, no. <laughs> right, okay. Because it's kind of early in the morning. Yeah, it is. Almost the middle of the night. All right. And uh, we got... Uh, we got a cooling unit here for him. Hello, boys, what do we got? Those are cooling units right there. Hook them up again. Get them a little... What? Get a little flow bearing going. Little flow bearing in case they're a little hot. Yeah. All right. All right. Keep them all comfy. Yeah. What else we got, Hiwa? Uh, we got stretchers out here in case they need them. Medical all right. Because sometimes they come back, and I mean, I feel so well. Yeah. Coming back from space. So, and so you got, these guys are probably, I'm sure these guys will all be fine. Board, but doctors, doctors are on board, board just in case. Just in case, and the nurses and stuff like that. So right. In case they need some medical right. treatment. So we got them back here, too. So. Right. Because this gets an adjustment coming back. Yeah. You know, it's, it's sort of like a hospital on wheels. Right, just in case. That's what this is. All right. What else we got? We got we got a restroom here too, right? Yeah. We don't have to go inside. No, but they we don't have. Go back there. That's right.